boats, boats. Brisbane Yamaha knows boats. Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha. And so, you want an all-round boat. You want to go offshore, you want to go out to empowerment, you want to go skiing, you want to take the family. Bow riders. Awesome boat, like a runabout with a ute at the front. You know, skiing, fishing, you get the area at the front, you put a board in, it's a casting platform. And the good thing about Quintrex, and they make the best, is that our bow riders, whether it's the cruiserbout or the freestyler, have the same offshore hull. Cruiserbout has a legendary top ender, and the freestyler has the frontier. Now, come to the front, we'll have a look. So a 520 cruise about. It's got the Quintrex trailer. You know, wonderful things. Dan will look. And then Dan, have a look at that hull. Because what you've got is that famous blade hull. The trailer's 1298. And so you can see smooth sides, because this is a new model. Look down there, smooth, sharp, just cuts in. And then this flared bow that's unique just squirts it out. Come down, fully, mold, fully welded top decks. This has got a 95 litre tank, and we'll quickly do it because we're gonna have a look at both. Transom door, 115 Yamaha on it, self-draining decks. Now come over here, go onto the side of that freestyler because they're an awesome boat with the apex hull. You know, I'll just check that trailer and look down that hull so people can see what the difference is. Because no one is as innovative as Quintrex in a hull. And the trailer is actually bigger. It's a 1400. That's interesting. 1298 versus 1400. Now, it's got the front. Big pickle fork there, you can see. And Dan, did you show that hull? That, that uh, apex hull with the pickle fork. Huge volume coming down. Alloy wheels, it's got an 85 litre tank, transom door on it self draining decks, and we've got the 130. Now, Dan will put the specs on the 115 and the 130. Now, what we've got is we've got Michael. Michael's been working, how long you worked there at Brisbane Yamaha, Michael? 37 years. 37 years. Started when he was a young bloke on parole. Now, let's measure him, because this is gonna be interesting, and it's just a demonstration on why the sign on the side doesn't mean a lot. Five, are you on that, Michael? Five, five. Now, so it's a five and a half metre boat. Quickly go over there, uh, no, underneath the motor, we'll check the water line, because people like that measurement. So onto the, the side there, yeah, 1800. Quickly up, pretty boring fodder this. Across here to the outside, 2170. Inside, just inside, looks like 1700. Now we'll come right up to behind the seats. What do we got there? Right out to the outside. Mm, 2190, 2180 inside. 1700 again. Then we'll come up to the front here, Michael. And what we'll do, let's measure. We'll come across in front of the windscreen. And we get to 2-1. And then go inside to the widest part of the the seats, and you'll have to look, 1570, and then I'll quickly, so it's 1570 wide, and they're about 780, 800 deep. Now, and then we'll do the freeboard, because people like that, and it's basically 600. Now, we'll quickly come over here, down that end, Michael, I'm doing the smart end, even though Michael's awesome at measuring. Look at that, 5.3, five, 5.3, three. Five, three. oh, so it's 200 shorter, we'll go across exactly the same, Michael, and then into the chine, 1900, I can't remember what the other one was, 18, I think, Dan will put them up, just at the back over at the beginning here, 2.250 two, inside, 1800. We'll come up to here, because that's about outside. Oh, nearly two, yeah, two, 280 inside, 1800. 
in front of the windscreen. Oh, I got it all twisted. Front of the windscreen, what do you got there, Mike? Well, 2230 inside here. Oh, this is where it's bigger, 1530. Uh, and then we'll just come back this. The other one was, oh, 800. All right, with that big. Now, let's quickly look inside them. So, the crew's about. What do we have in here? We've got these beautiful style sides here, glove boxes, drink holders, storage compartments. You know, you get a speaker in there. Awesome rear lounge. That, and I took it out so you could see the slots, how easy. You just tilt it and in, rear lounge. Battery under the middle. You can see battery isolation and fuel filters, some of that hydraulic steering we got on it. Transom door an option look at that turns just into a step that's ingenious that's really good quality stuff that is another more storage up the front poly molded you know you get short skis in there bolster seats so you could put that up you could you know you could probably stand but it's more of a sit down position sit here you know awesome you got the other side's got a drink holder glove box We've got a VHF radio, we've got a Lawrence sounder there, we've got our gauges, a couple of land gauges, 703 control box here. Right, it can take seven people at a maximum of 115. Well, that's interesting because the other one's got a 130 and this is maximum, even though it's a, a longer boat. Up the front, poly molded uh, anchor well, fully welded with some rails. Good room, really. Probably enough for two, you know, two people really. I suppose you could get three, a couple of kids. Just, I'd probably get five. This has got a tonnier cover over it. Got the walk-through windscreen. Uh, bloody nice boat really, isn't it? Quality with the bimini, all folds up, comes back to here so you'll be out in the sun here and blowing in the breeze. Let's have a look at this self-draining decks. Nice little steps, good ladder. So here we're in the 530 Freestyler. This one's got custom bait board ski pole. So the bait board just comes off. You can see how it just slides off. You've got the rear seat that's in so you can see that, how it folds up. You know, it just goes up into there, down. That's the same as the other. Style sides, exactly the same. Now, you've got a little storage here. Battery, it's a bit bigger. Storage in the middle, bigger. Glove boxes either side under the seat. You got the same seats. This has got a Garmin VHF radio switches. Quite a quite a big compartment there to put. You know, you can put safety gear in there. I'd not put me lunch in there. Glove box over this side. Space drink holder. Takes seven people. The same. It's a walk through windscreen. This one's got some a bimini on it. And then we've, uh, in our trim shop, put the clears. Walk through, a little step up. Speakers at the front. Of course, we've got this big open area here. And this is really where you put in here a, a piece of wood, take the cushions out. And this is like a big casting deck up here. And it's stable, you could walk on the anchor well. It's probably a bit better for fishing. Now, you, both of them can have a... Uh, Min coat amount put on them. This has got the tonnier as well. Probably a little bit more comfortable in the freestyler. A couple of drink holders there that we didn't have. Uh, good anchor well that's all hidden. So there's more workable area on the freestyler. Yeah, and I think there's a little bit more foot room. You definitely, you know, same thing. It's really for two people. You get a whole heap of kids. The cushioning looks beautiful. The tonnier cover. I like this big working area up here for standing and fishing. Really is nice. Big poly molded anchor well. You know, and this top, you have to watch out, lend it to someone to be cutting bait on that. Now, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take Michael. He's gonna take one of them, Dan and I in the other. Let's go and see how these two little beauties work. Hopefully there's a bit of chop out there today. Um, and we'll, we'll do a comparison.
So here we are in Moreton Bay. I'm in a 5.30 freestyler with a 1.30. Against the 5.20 cruise about with a 1.15 Yamaha. What I've got to tell you is, this, this freestyle is a bit of a rocket ship. Watch this and what we're going to do, we're going to go out, we're going to take off into the waves. It's not a bad day today. It's blowing about 10, busting 15, about a half a metre a wave, right? And we're going to head into the wave. We're going to take it up to about four and a half thousand revs. Michael's going to be beside. We're going to get the drone out the front so you can really see the difference between this apex and the blade hull. Go! So it jumps out like a rocket. I'll trim it up a bit. There's, there's four and a half thousand revs. And what these things like doing is a little bit of nose up. Now, are you at, yeah? You can see there, the 115 and the 130, they're both at four and a half. They're skipping along. Now the drone can see those hulls. I've trimmed it up a little bit, right, because I think these uh, apex hulls work better with a little bit of a higher nose. Now we're sitting down, we're both dry, and this is awesome. Now what we're going to do, we'll take it up to 5,000. Well, five and a half. At five and a half, I'm bloody hooting. That's what we're doing. How fast am I going? I'm going 53, 55. I'm smooth, I'm sitting down. I would say I'm actually flatter than the crew's about. But I'm not sure, but don't forget we're sitting down and you can see it spinning out. Now we'll slow down. All right. This 130, for skiing, for water sports, with the prop, I'll let you know what the prop is. Right, I'll trim it down. Would be awesome, right, for water sports. Now, in terms of going over our weight, it just worked it out. There's a little bit of wind. I'll do a figure eight, because you like to see it in the chop, and it's sitting flat, it's digging in. I've got to trim down, right, because you don't want to cavitate, and I'll give it a little bit of revs, and you can see that, right? And then I'll go into the rest of the figure eight. I just gave myself a little bit of a spray, but with these Brisbane Yamaha clears, and we're out in the bay, and I wouldn't turn this fast. I suppose if you saw someone's crab pot, I hate people that steal crab pots. You know, I really do. There's nothing worse going out there with all the expectation with your kids and someone's knocked off oh, mongrels. But anyway, so this thing's handling, I've got to tell you, beautiful. So what I'll do is I'll just reverse up. So I've missed a crab pot or I'm reversing it on a fish. Dry, flat. All right, it takes off flat. It corners flat. Let's try a stability test. Up the front. All right, there's a, you know, you can see, hopefully you can see in the drain, my hair's blowing in the breeze. I'm up here. Will I hop up the front? Yeah. You know, I could cast on a day like today, no problems. How rocky is it? Not too bad. You know, I'd probably be down here on the board. Out the back, let's have a look at the fishability. Feet under the side, bottom dongin bait board, rods. It's a pretty good boat. That's what it is. Very stable, 130, hydraulic steering. Be a very good all round boat. Very, very good, very capable. Across to Morton, up to Somerset, out to Wyvernhoe. You know, let alone, I'll tell you what, if you lived on the Gold Coast, whoo, Port Phillip Bay, all you snapper men, if you haven't got one of these, something's wrong with you. All right, Michael, come over. So what we've done is we've swapped, swapped batteries. Dan and I are now hopped back into in the Cruise About 520 new model Cruise About Pro. Let's have a look. We're going to do the same thing. Take off, go to four and a half, then to five and a half, and just see. Now I'm trimming right down. Michael's trimmed down. We know the freestyle of the Apex likes a little bit of trim. Feels very familiar to me, this boat, because, you know, I've had a lot of top enders and I, I love them. Top Enders, Territory Legends, I love them. We'll head into the waves. Trim down, 115. 
Okay, there's Michael. Jesus, good looking boat, that freestyler in it, Dan. Look at that. Yeah. And we're off. Yeah. Straight away, I could notice. Oh, that's not bad at four and a half, is it? Soft, it's squirting it out. I feel like I'm sitting forward, further forward. Uh, it's probably, I'll try a little bit of trim. No, doesn't like the trim, not like the freestyler. I, got, I haven't got clears, it's got plenty of go. It's jumping over it. Uh, we feel like the difference between this and a top ender is the top ender positions right back and then a territory religion further back. It's squirting the wave out. Now we'll go to five and a half. And I'm hanging on more. Well, that is a, that's a bit of a surprise. Saland and soft, it's going over. All right, now I'll trim down. It's all trimmed down. I'll give Michael the sign that I'm gonna cut him off. And I'll just try some circle work. And the interesting thing you'll notice I always put the other driver in the boat behind, you know? My name's Billy, not silly. Now let's have a look. Into the figure eights. There, hangs in there. Nowhere near what the freestyler and apex does. Nowhere. Nowhere, it wants to bounce around over those. The freestyler just rode over them pretty bloody good all right that's interesting that's very very interesting and a little bit of surprise because I've got to say last time I did one on a 510 uh, I actually like the cruise about but I got to say I probably like the frontier back Bloody beautiful, that's how it reverses. A little bit over, the weather's coming up a bit. I'll just trim him up a bit. All right, trim him up. Oh, well, I've got to tell you, freestyle of reverses better. All right, now I'll try the stability. And the weather's got a bit worse. Now, where's that drone? has gone up we've probably got half to a meter and it's 15 gustin you know and so i could stand up oh, almost pretty wise freestyler bit more room wow there's more fishing area in one of these interesting i've got to say that out of these two boats i don't know which one i'd have the freestyler, and what we'll do is I'll find out and we'll get Dan to put up an indication of price. Because, you know, 130, 115, they both go about the same. I think, I've made the comment before, I think in bad weather, real bad weather, the, this blade hull's better. But God, how often do you go in bad weather? I'm pretty keen on that freestyle, Dan. Now, let's, let's nip back. Following C. Not a problem. All right, both, both boats in a following sea, just awesome. Take your hands off the wheel, you can do whatever you liked. Come right in and here, Michael. He's a bit scared, you know. He's only been with me for 36 years, so he's traumatized. He's probably got a therapist. I book all my staff into a therapist when they start, you know. Look at that. Geez, they're two good boats. And you, you take them to Morton, you take them offshore, take your mates fishing one day, family skiing the next, take the mother-in-law out. She's going to think you're awesome if you owned a boat like this. Both awesome boats, that's your new one. Michael, which one are you having if I give you one? It's funny, I am too. You know, interesting, new things. You start off not thinking they're that good and in the end, so the Apex wins on today. Now, if you're looking at a boat, one of these trophy boats, a tinny to, you know, 100 grand, 200 grand cruiser, make sure you do yourself a favor. Call the team at Brisbane Yamaha. We're the biggest for a reason, best deals, biggest range. 
You'll never be sorry. I've got everything there. And we'll see you on the water. Free triple eight, 1727. Bye for now.